So in this video, we assume that you capture all the views that you need for showing the whole object in the end. Uh, imagine that's like um, you are coming to some room, it's empty and somebody shows you a part. That's the same situation for the scanner. So um, he will not have uh, with one view all the information. For example, if somebody shows you the front side of that part that we scanned, you will not see the same time the back side. So, these different views have to be merged together for representation of the object. So, you see after the cleaning of the different scan views, they are, let's say, not positioned to each other in the right way, they are in some mess. Um, for this part I created um, inside and outside, this is the outside of uh, the cast part that will be later on in the motor looking to the outside that is the inside this is where the electricity and components and and so on are and um, i created views um, that connect the inside and the outside of that scan to be sure that both of them are positioned relatively to each other in the right way I created some more views um, because there is fins and in the fins there is uh, details in the ground and I want to be sure that everything is captured fine. So I created uh, more views um, and uh, I did them uh, as you see in turning the part. So you will see that they have always some turning axis where everything can be seen and uh, if you leave that or look from the downside where the scanner was not able to, to look at because of the desk there is nothing okay so we should have everything that we need uh, for creating a march that will um, represent the part if not we can add views later on no problem you can go back in the progress and forward anytime uh, of course forward just if you have all the steps that are necessary before okay so this is the align button that means you can align different views to each other so there is um, two windows in the upper area this windows represent the views that you want to align to each other and there is a result window that's down there that will show you the result of the alignment between both of them the current one so you can check if there is some errors um, first you are clicking uh, here in the fixed fixed uh, window fixed window is the left side that means this is the mother for the alignment this will not be changed um, then you have here the click into the right window and you will choose that vision or that view that you want to align to the mother view to the fixed one I will choose not inside and outside because they have not perfect overlapping I will create the first set mm, using perpendicular views and you have different features here you can align that views over markers that have uh, been in that setup if you change like i did um, sometimes the marker position relatively to each other i will not use this one because he will try to find the same markers and align them if you have them on the part just uh, on the part and nowhere else it will work if you have markers around uh, and on the part be careful this can be a problem by feature means he will identify um, areas uh, and uh, threads or domes whatever he calls it all features and will try to bring them overlapping to each other what we will do most of the time because it's a really cool feature uh, based alignment that's working automatic and you save a lot of time with this there's other brands and um, that have software that don't work very well and don't perform this auto alignment very good but here it's working really great so you just click that alignment algorithm after you chosen the views you want to align and here you are you are not 
really taking a lot of time normally merging views like in other competitor software solutions I really like it okay so this is your your fixed this is your movable view you have over some automatic algorithm bring them into overlapping you see that everything is fine that there is not a big deviation between both surfaces so um, this means you can go next that because you have many of them so if you click on next what you did so far is the new fixed result that you have to work on so these both first selections are merged together right now right now you can click uh, again uh, on the right window and choose the next one you can right now use the downside because you have uh, quite a lot of overlapping with the downside and um, in this case uh, of course I would continue to just use autom the automatic merging um, or aligning in this case sorry it's not merging it's really uh, aligning mm, but I will show you the the additional mode that is sometimes needed if you have um, not so many features for the alignment it can happen really rarely in the software that he will not succeed in the auto mode to align it so if you have this kind of situation in, in your special case you can using you can align um, these parts using points that you pre-select uh, for the software where the software is capable to uh, start the alignment don't be scared that you are not clicking perfectly exactly the same position into the two sides because that scanner will do some best fit alignment uh, in the software afterwards so um, to start the alignment algorithm in the manual mode you have to push and hold the shift button and click on the areas that belong to each other so this one should be fine then there is another area that you can identify here this one that will be later on merged together then you can choose this inside area here and uh, you see right now you don't need more than three pairs um, to start the alignment Mm, if you you have uh, selected them you can leave the the rest for the algorithm so you click on apply and it's it so or not so you see that I made made a mistake here so okay this can happen as well I, I selected some areas that look similar but are not the same but um, don't mind it's not a problem you are still here in that mode and you didn't click on next so you can try it again and make it better so there is some of the cutting holes so I have to be careful that I really select something Mm, that's right that just belong to each other I see here there is the domes and screw holes and this gets me to some better start point so this time I'm going to push shift and select the area of the dome select the other area of the dome what is always recommendable that this three points start points for the alignment you select that they are um, a bit far away from each other that means you have good and stable um, alignment points that they are easy for the software 
um, to align the part. So if you would select three points that are in a very small distance to each other, that algorithm will have a really problem to find um, the right position because this is like if you try to position um, some coin on a needle. It's different if you have three needles um, where you want to position a, po a coin on and they are in the same spot. So the three needles have no really benefit for you. If you, have, let's say, put the needles into the, let's say, outer areas of the coin, you will create a stable um, positioning. Um, and it's quite comparable in the skin if you want to align skins to each other. So you see with the manual mode I was able to succeed to align this. I go next and um, I have another two skins to, to align so I click on here but as I'm a lazy person and I always are running out of time I do that automatic mode. And again, doing a really great job, I really love it. Finalize that alignment and there is just one left. And uh, I click here to start the alignment between the last two possibilities. And um, just for you guys who are using the previous version of the software, um, I recommend to update because <laughs> like many times said in videos before there is some cool functions and features that are more stable and uh, have more features and performance. Here it's the same but if you in insist to use the old version of the software for some reason or if you have no administration rights on your PC whatever you can um, do it of course on the old version as well. The old version that the uh, Windows setup looks a bit different and you are not by clicking selecting the views that you want to align to each other it's by drag and drop so it's not working anymore I'm, in this version I'm not able to drag and drop any views from the list into some window like it had been before so um, if you use the previous version just click on that scan you want to use as the fixed one keep the left mouse uh, clicked and drag and drop the scan name into the window and it will appear in the fixed window so if you want to use the float one or this is the case uh, this is the movable part in the alignment not the fixed one same same um, let's say procedure just click on it keep the left mouse button pushed drag it there and it's it's in there if you have then problems uh, in the manual alignment um, there is written below that you have to click with the left mouse button three positions I explained that before how it is working when I click here on the manual mode but in some version there was uh, some needed um, shortcut for start uh, to do that points you had to um, push the um, shift on the on the keyboard and after the shift on the keyboard is pushed and keep it pushed you had to click on the right and afterwards on the left mouse button in the area to start the selection um, of the first point this procedure um, had to be uh, respected to be able to um, start to put the points on the scan surfaces so keep shift push after and click one time on the right mouse button and after this click on the left uh, mouse button you don't need to keep them pushed but where you are um, clicking with the left mouse button after this procedure on the object there will be created a point so you will be able to do it the same way uh, like I showed you before there is just some small differences how how it is done in um, in the selection
Okay, coming back to this object, I'm again lazy. <laughs> As I told you, markers is not going to work for me because I have markers surrounding the object. And um, I, I'll leave it for the PC to do the work. And here you are, finally, you see that the result is fine. Really take uh, in account that clicking here on the right side is not like on many other software is the next step, it's the exit. If you click here on exit, you will lose your result of alignment that you did so far. So always, always be sure that you click next before you click exit. Okay. So here you are, you can see that this right now is not a messed up bunch of views. It's all there and um, I can of course, if you bother, I can unshow markers. But it's not important. This, this is possible, but you don't have to do it. So. Um, Here we are, we created um, all the necessary views and merged them together for creating a watertight model. So, see you in the next video.